Good evening. We welcome back Governor Palin of the state of Alaska. Thank you, Larry. Good to be back on your show. Last time we talked, you called for killing Julian Assange and cutting his nuts off. Without due process. I said that. Yeppers. You pretty much did. If you say so, Larry. And, say so, I do. Whatever. <coughs> Sorry, burrito I had earlier. I see. Taco Bell? Moving along. I would like to share with you what most informed people of this planet think of your sentiments. Most people. That's right. Einstein. They begin. To those inciting murder upon Julian Assange and are members of his family. We among many law-abiding citizens of the world deplore and condemn, as applicable, your utterances and writings calling for the extrajudicial unlawful, kidnapping, assassination, murder, physical harm of Julian Assange, his supporters, WikiLeaks workers or members of Assange's family. We remind you of the laws in your country and others against incitement, in Terralia. Common law, in English criminal law, incitement was an anticipatory common law offense and was the act of persuading, encouraging, instigating, pressuring, or threatening so as to cause another to commit a crime. The inciter must intend the others to engage in the behavior constituting the offense, including any consequences which may result, and must know or believe or possibly suspect that those others will have the relevant mens rea. Mens rea. It's Latin. For guilty mind. Moron. Codified incitement law in the Australian Commonwealth. Incitement. A person who urges the commission of an offense is guilty of the offense of incitement. For the person to be guilty, the person must intend that the offense incited be committed. I am not Australian. In Canada except where otherwise expressly provided by law, the following provisions apply in respect of persons who counsel other persons to commit offenses, namely, everyone who counsels another person to commit an indictable offense is, if the offense is not committed, guilty of an indictable offense and liable to the same punishment to which a person who attempts to commit that offense is liable. Well, I am close to Canada. The United Kingdom. A person commits an offense if he does an act capable of encouraging or assisting the commission of an offense, and he intends to encourage or assist its commission. I once had tea and scrumpets with the Queen. <coughs> scrumpets, huh? Apparently, they gave you gas. In the USA, there is no automatic First Amendment protection per Brandenburg versus Ohio. 1969, freedoms of speech and press do not permit a state to forbid advocacy of the use of force or of law violation except where such advocacy is directed to inciting or producing imminent lawless action and is likely to incite or produce such action. We remind you that while such prima facie incitement by way of utterances and writings may go unpunished in your country, they will not necessarily go unpunished in others, and especially so should you have the courage of your convictions to repeat them in those other jurisdictions. We ask you respectfully to contemplate this writing of Mahatma Gandhi. Who? Old, bald guy, from India, with goofy glasses, and poor taste in bed sheets. You. Not very GQ. Figures. An error does not become truth by reason of multiplied propagation. Nor does truth become error because nobody sees it. Truth stands, even if there be no public support. It is self-sustained. You have fleas? And the truth is that Julian Assange is no terrorist. He is not a war-defined belligerent acting against the United States. He cannot ever be a traitor to the USA since by definition he is not a citizen of the United States. As Ron Paul put it so well. I have heard of him. Really? Evidence suggests you haven't learned much so far, have you? I thought so. Continuing. In a society where truth becomes treason, however, we are in big trouble. 
the truth is that our foreign spying, meddling and outright military intervention in the post-World War II era has made us less secure, not more, and we have lost countless lives and spent trillions of dollars for our trouble. Too often that's the official government lies that have given us endless and illegal wars resulting in hundreds of thousands of deaths and casualties. He said that. Ron Paul said that. You really need to work on that flea problem. Yup. He's been saying that pretty much since he has been in Congress. From what authority does he speak from? I believe it is called the Constitution. Specifically, Article 3, Section 3. You should read it sometime. Along with Article 1, Section 8, Clauses 11 and 12. Not to mention, Article 1, Section 10. I'll bet you have an amusement park in that bouffant head of yours. Did a UFO just land? Apparently, they have come to pick you up and take you back to your planet. That's our show for tonight. Good evening, and don't look behind the curtain or under your bed. The truth just might get you.